Hi, boys and girls. How are you? This is your coach, Noel, and I'm so excited to be working with you today on our math lesson. Parents, I want to welcome you. Boys and girls, let's go ahead and get started, okay? Awesome. So what we're doing today is we're adding mixed numbers with like denominators. And the reason they're called mixed numbers is because we have a whole number like this 4 right here, and we have a fraction. That is called a mixed number. Take a look at this mixed number here. We have a 1, and we have a fraction there. We have 5 eighths. This number here is 4 and 1 eighth. This number here is 1 and 5 eighths. So we're adding 4 and 1 eighths plus 1 and 5 eighths. Our second example is we have this mixed number here that's 7 and 1 16th. We have a whole number here, the 7. We have 1 16th there. 7 and 1 16th. Plus, we have our whole number here, 8, and here we have 14 sixteenths. So this number here is 8 and 14 sixteenths. So this mixed number here is 7 and 1 16th. This mixed number here is 8 and 14 sixteenths. And we're adding 7 and 1 16th plus 8 and 14 sixteenths. Okay? So let's go ahead and get started with the first sample. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I'm adding the right things together. So I'm going to add the whole numbers together. So I'm going to add the 4 and the 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. I've got the 5 here. Once I have that, then I'm going to add the fractions. I'm going to add 1 eighth plus 5 eighths. And I'm going to leave the denominator by itself. Okay, and I'm going to bring that down. So that's going to be an 8 right there. And then I'm going to add the numerators. 1 plus 5. And 1 plus 5 is 6. And there you have it. 5 and 6 eighths. The next question I have to ask myself is, can I reduce this fraction? And that's what we're going to be doing down here. Okay? The 6 and the 8 can both go into 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. So if they can both go into 2, they're both even numbers, and just know that if it's an even number, it can always go into 2. Always, okay? So here I have two even numbers, a 6 and an 8, all right? But in this case, they're going to be divided by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is going to be 3, and 8 divided by 2 is going to be 4. So I put the 4 there. So in this instance, I'm going to reduce this fraction here to 3 fourths, and I'm going to bring this number down, which is a 5. So the answer is 5 and 3 fourths. And that's it. Pretty easy, right? Let's take a look at the next example. The next example, I've got 7 and 1 16 plus 8 and 14 16 Okay? So remember, I, I have to add the numbers that belong. So at first I'm going to add the whole numbers. I've got a 7 and I've got an 8. Okay? 7 plus 8 is 15. 15 is my whole number. Then I'm going to add the fraction parts. 1 16th plus 14 sixteenths. I'm going to add that. So I'm going to keep the denominator 16 the same. I'm going to bring that down. I've got my 16 there. Then I'm going to add the numerators. 1 plus 14. And 1 plus 14 is 15. So the answer here is going to be 15 and 15 sixteenths. Now I have to ask myself, is it possible for me to reduce 15 sixteenths? Well, the answer is no. Can, is there a number that we can divide both of these by? Okay. If I try to get to 16, 1 times 16 is 16. 2 times 8 equals 16. Can 2 go into 15? No. Okay? 4 times 4 equals 16. Can 4 go into 15? No. So that's it. Okay? That's how I work that out. So this is going to be 15 and 15 16. And that's pretty much it, boys and girls. Now, your parents have a PDF file of all the practice problems. You're going to have 20 pages worth of practice problems. So you're going to be an expert at adding mixed numbers with like denominators. This is going to be a piece of cake for you. 
And let me remind you, please don't do all 20 pages in one day. There's no need to do that, okay? Just do one or two pages a week. That should be fine. Remember, you've got more things to do. You've got more lessons to watch, and you've got a lot more concepts to learn. So please, don't try to do everything at once. I want you to spread it out, and I want you to master all these concepts all at once. Remember, this is not a race, okay? We're going to get to the finish line eventually. But what I want you to do is I certainly want you to master all of these concepts, okay, boys and girls? Now, let me just remind you, you've got 20 pages worth of practice problems. Your parents can print it out if they wish to, okay? That's option one. Option two is just to have the problems on the screen. And if you want to write the problems down and then work them out, you're certainly more than welcome to do that as well.